Hey YouTube, it's Sean. And um, this is a go-kart update. And um, unfortunately, we lost a coil. Um, the ignition coil died. So I ordered up a, another coil, but not the coil that actually goes to this particular motor because the coil for this motor is expensive. It's like 50 bucks. And I've decided that I'm going to uh, retrofit a uh, Honda clone coil to it. And I'll show you what I got. All right, guys, this is the coil that actually fits this motor. Um, this is the actual coil for the motor. And there's the part number. At least I guess that's the part number, guys. And um, that's the coil. However, the coil that's on it right there is a Honda clone coil. In other words, a uh, uh, Chinese Honda clone. The only difference is, is those legs that stick towards the inward. And I um, don't know about you, but I don't think it needs them. Not at all. So I ordered another one of those. This coil particularly is it's a good coil. There's nothing wrong with this coil, except for it needs a CDI box to run it. And um, I don't, I cannot find, I have it somewhere, the CDI box for this coil, but I cannot find it. So I'm going to oil a, excuse me, I'm going to order a coil that is built in CDI and just retrofit it to this motor. Um, the, the only thing I needed to do is just bore out one side of the hole just a little bit. I mean, not even a snake's skin, and it fit right on there. And um, but I, and the magnet clears both legs, and it looks really good. So all we have to do, YouTube, is just uh, wait for the quill to come in. It's coming from California. I live in Oregon, and. Um, it said three to five days so there we are but uh I just didn't want to spend 50 bucks for a authentic coil and I don't think there's gonna be any problem with uh, this and um, that coil there in a CDI version is only ten fifty ten dollars and fifty cents is way better than you know like fifty bucks and um, these legs that stick in I don't think it's going to make much difference at all. None. Um, done this type of stuff forever. And um, I think we're going to be alright. But, yep, yeah, we're broke down, YouTube. Um, we worked on the clutch the last time. And the clutch is wonderful. Worked on the exhaust. It's perfect. Uh, I worked on the carburetor a lot. And um, that thing is just wholesome. Works really well. And I even went and pulled the valve cover off and set the overhead valves. And I bought me an E3 spark plug. Uh, they say these things are awesome. Um, I know they work, work really well in the two-stroke scooters. Yep, they start way easier. But anyway... I bought one for this, two, three bucks, no problem. But that's what we're after, right, YouTube? And um, we can spin it over with the electric start, and it doesn't even fire. So, and I did a test on the this coil has some resistance. This coil has none. Uh, this thing is just shorted, and um, that's where the old motors. Um, like hit and misses and such, you could uh, you could fix these coils really easy. But with these modern day engines, yeah, it's it's all plastic resin, wire wound internally. But they put this plastic in, and you're done. You can never you can never regain you know what you got. So anywho, there we are, and um, we're gonna go ahead and wait for that coil to come in and um, see if we can get this thing running. Alright YouTube, 
y'all take care of yourselves and uh, we're going to see if we can work on the go-kart some more as soon as that coil comes in. Uh, I did do a little more work on that front end. Um, that's the next thing and um, we're good. I got the brakes going real good. I need to do a little more work on the brakes though. Um, um, just got to basically clean them up and get some, you know, rust, some paint off, paint on all that rusty, you know, components. But the uh, rotor and the uh, caliper are working real well, so, and it stops well. But there we go, YouTube. You guys take care of yourselves, and we'll catch you later. Bye.